Brandon, um, I guess another game without any turnovers. Uh, I know that they're sometimes fluky when you get them, but uh, how much does that hurt the defense when you can't you can't get those? Um, you know, it just makes it just makes our fight a lot harder. You know, of uh, we can't flip the field, um, and you know, playing against a team like uh, the Ravens. You know, they they hot right now. They got a great quarterback, great team. Uh, we just gotta, you know, we gotta change we gotta change the momentum and uh, turnovers definitely help that. We'll go Les and then Chris Murray. Hey, BG. Uh, how frustrating was it for the first half and really most of the third quarter to just be sent out there again and again and again, uh, often in bad field position, uh, you know, with, with nothing on the scoreboard and, and no hope of anything good happening? Well, you know, uh, we don't beat ourselves up about it because if you do, it's, um, you know, it's, it gets worse. Uh, we went out there with a mindset, you know, we just, they just don't get in, you know, and we hold them to three. Whatever it is uh, that happened in that game, uh, we try to, you know, talk positive in, that, in those moments because it could definitely get out of hand if, uh, if we let it, if we had the wrong mindset. But, um, you know, it was, you know, we don't like, you know, the, the situation we was in, but we definitely can change it. And uh, well, that's all we was trying to do when we go out there. Chris and then Mike Sielski. Um, my question to you is, um, why is it that this team plays great one half, bad another half, and see, you seem to got you seem to not be able to put it all together on a consistent basis? Um, you know, hey, these games, uh, they 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 are different. You know, they are, you know, um, injuries from you know the the people that you got to work in to all kind of different things. But I think we handle handle it, you know, the right way. I just know that. You know, it's it's not how you start, it's how you finish. And, you know, uh, our goal right now is just to win the NFC East, get healthy, and, you know, um, you know, make sure that we uh, take care of what we need to take care of this week. You know, we got a short week with the Giants. We got to move on. We got 10 games left. Uh, we can turn this thing around, and we're not that – and we're not far off at all. We still believe in each other uh, despite, you know, others. But, you know, at the end of the day, that's all I really care about uh, is everybody still believing and knowing that we one play away from uh, being where we want to be and one um, turnover away from being where we want to be. We just got to – we just got to do it. Mike and then John Mullen. Brandon, what was the most challenging part about trying to defend Lamar today? Uh, just, you know, his speed. I mean, he's a he's a great quarterback, and we know that uh, he's fast. And uh, you got to make sure that you stay in coverage with him, uh, and just let him let him go. You know, let him run, uh, get those you know little yards. Uh, just make sure that he don't get um, you know because he's an accurate thrower on the run. Make sure he don't get those open uh, receivers based off him just running to the sideline to you know create different things. But I think that uh, that's the biggest thing. Just you know trying to get him to uh, contain him. John and then Jamie. Uh, hey, BG. Um, uh, bigger picture, obviously, you're not where you wanted to be uh, at the start of this season, but you do have that short week, as you mentioned. Uh, is that helpful in some ways from you know a, a mental standpoint, at least, to get right back out there? Oh, for sure. And you know, um, it's it's a time, it's a chance for us to go out, go out there and make some things right. You know, and get and get back in the winning column. You know, what I'm saying like, you know, we got we got the Giants this week, and you know, they ain't no slouch either. You know, despite the record, all that stuff, we know what's going on uh, with them, and we see what's going on. They just, but at the end of the day, we know that they gonna play their best against us, cause you know everybody get paid in this league and every and it's. And it's definitely even in this league, you know, any given Sunday. So uh, we just got to make sure we do our part this week and make sure that we um, we stay locked in and keep on building off uh, the good things off, off these games that, that we're losing. We have time for two more, so we'll go Jamie and then Ed Kratz. Brandon, you just alluded to uh, you guys believing in yourselves, but other people maybe not. And Doug Peterson got a little almost emotional when talking about defending you guys as a team and having you block out the outside noise and the criticism you're going to hear this week. Is that frustrating for you when you know what goes on inside the locker room and how banged up you guys are? Um, but the record is what the record is. I mean, how do you guys handle that? And, and what is the mentality right now? Uh, we just, we, we not, we, we know we got to fix some issues. We got to, we got to get some, we got to get some healthy guys in there, you know, that could really help us too. But I do love what I see with the guys that's coming in, um, you know, that's getting short notice, you know, they, they seem like they ready. 
um, when they go in there because, you know, obviously we go down there, uh, Jack uh, Driscoll get hurt, then Toff go in, and that boy, you know, he did all he could, you know what I'm saying, to get us down there, to get a score. And, you know, that's all I really, you know, can, can say is, you know, the people that get their opportunities, they make it. Um, you know, the best of it. And um, I know what we have, you know, that's sitting on the bench right now, that's that's trying to get back and get healthy. And all I can say is, like you say, it's like it's not how you start, it's how you finish. And, you know, I think we're going to hit, we're going to be hitting it at the right time. And, man, I still, I still believe in this team, and we all still believe in each other. And it shows just by how easy it could have went left uh, when we was down. Uh, again, you know, big, 17 nothing. People could have, you know, just quit on each other and point fingers, but that's not what's going on. People trying to figure it out and really trying to work their butt off to get us get us a, a stop and a turnover on defense and a score, of course. But, um, you know, it's going to happen. I'm telling you. Just keep on. Trust me, it's going to happen. And it's, it's definitely – we definitely trying to start it this week. Last question here with Ed. Hey, BG. Um Getting back to an earlier question about Lamar Jackson, I mean, he's very elusive. You had two sacks on him. How hard did he make you have to work for those sacks? Man, you see, I was running. You got to run to the sideline sometimes. You, if you want to get a sack on him, you know, you got to run. And uh, today I had that mentality, you know, I know you never out of it. You know, you just got to run around. Uh, if you want to run around, you got to run too, you know. And hopefully he cut back right into you. And he cut back right into one of them, one of the sacks I got. And then uh, another one I had to run to the sideline to get him. Uh, but you you know at the end of the, at the, end of the games with him, you're going to definitely be tired, you know, if, uh, if you're giving it your all. And I, that's all you could really ask for with your team. We all gave it our all. Um, it, wasn't, it wasn't good enough today because we came up short. But the fight is what, what I really love the most uh, is because we're never out of this game. Uh, we just got to keep, we just got to keep tightening it up early because uh, they, they, they defense put their offense in a good position by flipping the field, um, you know, making sure that they um, get good field position. And, you know, we just got to do a better job as, as far as, you know, um, when those times do happen when they flip the field that we don't let them get in. Uh, and, and that's all I can really say. Hey, Jason, obviously a lot of moving parts, again, on the offensive line, and, and Carson got hit a lot. Were those um, sort of mistakes of you know one, guys losing one-on-one -on -one battles, or were they sort of identification mistakes? Yeah, uh, you know, I think it was probably a little bit of everything today. I mean, the the Ravens do an incredible job of uh, you know getting after you, especially on third down, and when they know that you're in a uh, you know one-dimensional game and you're throwing it. Um, you know, they'll blitz zero from anywhere on the field. They'll give you all sorts of different looks that make it difficult to really, uh, you know, try and protect. I thought, honestly, uh, you know, we did a decent job uh, getting getting the calls in and everything. And, uh, you know, obviously there's a lot of room for improvement and we should have played better. Uh, but, you know, guys are out there fighting. Dave and then EJ. Hey, Jason. Uh, Carson obviously got hit quite a bit today. Uh, what, did he, what did he show you, um, his resiliency and, and him fighting the, to stay in that game and play well down the stretch? I mean, you know, I'm, I'm, Carson doesn't need to show me anything. Uh, you know, I know who he is. I know who he's been since he's been here. Um, you know, I mean, he did an unbelievable job all year, really, of fighting through a lot of hits. And, uh, you know, I think he's, uh, you know, was really, you know, when, you're, when it's man coverage like that, you got to try and buy extra time and make plays happen. And the second half, obviously not a great first half for the offense, but the second half was, uh, you know, a really really good showing by him and some of the receivers to make some huge plays down the field for us. EJ and then Chris Franklin. Hey Jason, specifically with Clayus Campbell, you know Jamon had trouble with him. I think a couple other guys too. What went wrong with that matchup um, in particular? I mean, he's a good player. You know, I mean, Calais is a perennial poor bowler. He's a really, uh, you know, a, a great player. He's going up against a guy who, you know, JB has been, uh, you know, he's been here for a few weeks and he's been trying to learn everything. We're trying to build that chemistry. Uh, but, um, you know, I think that he did a good job of going in there and battling. Um, and then, you know, the other hard part about it is they blitz so much. You can't really, uh, you know, it's not like you're playing some weeks where you can kind of apply help. Um, you know, when they're blitzing zero and sending guys all over the place, you really have to honor uh, the numbers, which lead to a lot of one-on-one -on -one matchups, which obviously when you have a really good player, you try not to leave them one-on-one -on -one as much as we, we had to with Calais. Chris Franklin and then Martin. Hey, Jason, it seems like every week it seems to be one guy or two guys that are going down either during the game or not available during the, seat, uh, during the next week. Uh, have you ever been a part of this, either professionally or – in your college days, and, and how do you guys keep that continuity going, especially on a short week now coming up with the Giants? 
Yeah, you know, we've you know, we've had some injuries here before, you know, you, obviously this is on another level and you know, the whole off season and every way, everything that's transpired with uh, this season and you know, COVID and everything, you're seeing injuries up across the league. I mean, everybody seems like they're dealing with this issue right now. Um, you know, we you know, I haven't really been a part of something like this drastic, I guess, in my career. Uh, but this is the way, you know, you're always trying to you know, overcome this stuff. You're always, you know, you know, game planning and, and, and coaching and, and trying to get guys ready for whoever's going to be there on game day. Uh, and at the end of the day in this league, that's all that matters. You know, you, you can't make excuses. You can't, uh, you know, say, hey, we got this, this, and this. Uh, you know, at the end of the day, do you win the game or you lose the game? You know, does, does the guy that's in there, is he getting the job done? Or are we getting the job done as a unit? Um, you know, it could have been better today for sure. Uh, really good defense, you know. Um, but, um, you know, I don't know, just part of the way this, this game is going and the way this season has gone. And, you know, you, 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 you roll with the circumstances and, 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 and try to do the best you can and uh, find a way to get it done. Martin and then Jeff McLean. Hey, Jason, if I can kind of follow up with that. Um, you, you and Carson are the only starters from the beginning of the season who, who are still in there when the game ended. I mean, What's that like for you um, playing on an offensive line with like four guys who, you know, weren't expected to, to play, you know, to start or play at all this season? Well, yeah, I mean, you know, obviously more is on my shoulders. You know, I, um, I'm trying to be a better leader and trying to, you know, make sure that we're overstating communication, that guys understand everything going on. Um, I've been honestly quite happy with a number of the guys who have come in and played uh, some of these young guys. They've they've gone in and battled and done a great job. Uh, you know, Nate Herbig has really been uh, done well, and Malata's obviously everybody wants to talk about him. The big rugby players gone out there and done a great job. Uh, you know, Jack Driscoll as a rookie has played phenomenal. Um, you know, we've we've gotten some guys that have answered the bell, and you know, for me. Um, you know, I just try and make sure that I overstay communication during the week, try and uh, help these guys so that anything that could arise, they're ready for and they're prepared for. Um, and, uh, you know, I try and overstay communication, try and help as much as I can to make guys feel comfortable, put guys in a good situation. And, um, uh, you know, that's, you know, it's not as, it's, it's a little bit more for me trying to do all that stuff. You know, I don't have the luxury of Brandon Brooks being able to help me out or, you know, Isaac Sayomalu or Lane and stuff like that where we've had some tremendous players and guys with a lot of experience. But, um, you know, I enjoy helping guys out. I enjoy, you know, giving of myself to, to other people to try and, uh, you know, win a game. So, um, yeah. So, Jeff yeah. and Zach. Uh, Jason, on the on the last two point conversion, Doug said that it took a little while. He may have been a little late in getting the play in, and then Carson said, "Yeah, coming out of the huddle, you know, all of a sudden the clock was down because you only got, I think you only get twenty seconds on on the uh, two point conversion." Did do did that kind of mess with the rhythm of that play at all um, from your perspective? I don't think so. You know, I think we got up to the line. It was rushed. I think. But that's not really a play that you got to communicate a lot on. I mean, it's just an inside zone read play with a pass option on it. And, uh, you know, they played it pretty well defensively. Um, you know, that's all I got. Zach and then Les. Hey, Jason, the, the first half, obviously, as, as you mentioned, was tough for the offense. Things got going in the second half. Uh, what were the differences there from your perspective? Uh, we played better. You know, I think, uh, you know, they – you know, we did a good job of really making some incredible plays at the receiver position and guys find a way to get open and some great throws by Carson. You know, obviously, we were able to have that huge run kind of to start out the second half there, uh, which was a big momentum shifter. Um, you know, they they were doing a great job in the first half. I mean, they're making it really difficult. They're blitzing all over the place. Um, and I really think we settled in and started getting uh, into the rhythm there in the second half. You know, obviously, wish we could, wish we would have done that the whole game. Um, you know, I think that there were some things in the first half that were there for the taking that we just kind of missed on. It wasn't, you know, we, we, I thought it was, you know, closer in the first half, even though we didn't. I mean, it was like three and out, three and out, three and out. But you know, we got a we got a screen there in the first half. There, if we get it completed, I think it's a good play. You know, I think there were some things there that you know it was kind of felt like you know. You know, you know, if we can just kind of get something going, we're going to be in a good spot. We have time for two more, so we'll go Les and John McMullen. Allie, my question was already asked, so John can go ahead. 
Okay, go ahead, John. Uh, hey, Jason. Uh, obviously, uh, Doug has mentioned adversity. Jim has mentioned adversity on the defensive side of the football. Um, when you have those young players, even though there's no moral victories in this league, do, do you think you can take the fight in this game and uh, sort of, I don't know, uh, for lack of a better word, just put a spark into them and give them a little more confidence? Well, yeah, and it's not just about them. You know, I think, you know, we're trying to put a spark in this team. we got to start winning football games, you know, and these guys have done a tremendous job uh, going out there and battling and going out there and fighting. Um, and, you know, I think, you know, we've been – We've been close in most of the games. I mean, I think outside of one game, they've all really been there for the taking. And good teams find a way to get those games done and uh, find a way to, to, to get them in the win column. You know, we've been, you know, guys are trying. That's not the issue. The issue is execution. The issue is mistakes. Um, you know, we've been, you know, plus in the turnover differential margin in one game. And that one game is the only game we've won. So you take care of the football, you, you you don't have penalties, you know, this isn't, you know, it, it comes down to the same core things, you know. If you go out there and you try hard, you take care of the football and you don't commit a lot of mistakes and gross errors, penalties, you're going to win more than you lose. And, um, you know, we got to start doing that. Uh, we got to take care of the football, got to eliminate the, mis the, the mistakes, the penalties. And, uh, and if we can do that, we'll start winning football games. Hey, Rodney, how did um, the challenge of, defending Lamar compared to, to what you were expecting? Uh, yeah, I think uh, for the most part, we uh, did a good job at containing them outside of uh, the one run for a touchdown. Uh, and then uh, obviously the late in the game, uh, you know, he escapes out. Uh, but I mean, a, a player like that, you have to expect, you know, he's going to make some plays. And uh, Jim, you know, uh, expressed that to us early in the game. I mean, early this week, uh, not to get frustrated by it. Uh, you know, he's going to make some plays with his legs, uh, the throws that he makes, side arms, uh, but just keep battling. And I think that's what we, we displayed today. Uh, battled all the way through uh, to the end and gave our, ourselves a chance to win. Jamie and then Ron Mahdi. Rodney, uh, you guys fought right to the end there and, you know, gave yourself, like you said, a, a chance to win the game. Um, but yet you're still one, four and one. Can you speak to the frustration of your record being what it is, despite the effort you guys are putting out? Yeah, it's extremely difficult uh, understanding uh, what's reality. We are one, four and one, uh, but we're also just a couple plays away from, you know, being uh, having a, a winning record. Uh, but what's encouraging is uh, the fight. Uh, and, and that's the character of this team. Uh, the willingness not to quit. Uh, to continue to believe in ourselves, uh, no matter what's going on uh, in the game or throughout the week, man, we, we stick together. And, and that's what you're seeing, uh, not only defensively, but offensively uh, in, in, in all three phases of the game. And so uh, that's what we will build on uh, going into uh, the Giants. We understand what's at stake. Uh, it's a division opponent. And so this is a huge week for us, opportunity to get back on track, but also uh, to get a division win. Rob and then Dave. Rodney, teams that are one, four, and one are usually looking ahead to next year. But in this division, with Dallas at two and three and only a half game ahead of you guys, how much is, I mean, not comforting, but do you guys take out of that knowing that you're still in this if you can go out there, get a win against the Giants, control the divisional games that you have coming up? Yeah, we're in control of our own destiny. Uh, we just had to take it one game at a time. And, and fortunate enough for us, it's a division opponent coming up next. Uh, at home, Thursday night game. And so we're looking forward to that opportunity. Dave and then John. I read all the injuries on this team. Um, how do you guys not get down when you're seeing multiple starters leave every game? At the end of the day, we have to play this game with whomever we uh, put out on the field. Whatever 11 men is out there, uh, we put our faith and trust in those guys. And that's what we created here. That's the culture. Uh, we don't flinch. Uh, we don't make excuses. And so uh, when you come in, the expectation is still the same. Get your do job done and, and execute. So, uh, man, countless guys have, have gone in uh, throughout this season and uh, made tremendous plays. Uh, guys like Fogum, uh, who continues to show up each and every week, 
um, who's making a name for himself. So uh, that will continue to happen, and we'll get some guys back uh, hopefully this week. But uh, I think that will make our team even stronger with the depth now that we're creating for some of these guys. John and then Zach. Uh, hey, Rod. Um, you mentioned some of those moving parts, and it happened again at the safety position. Jalen back. Uh, moved back. Will Parks was there for the first time, and then you were sort of in the big nickel with them. How, how do you think that worked out first time? I think it, it worked out well. Uh, we prepared all week, and, and we went out and executed. Communication was great. It was good having Will Parks back in back into the defensive scheme, and as well as uh, Mills back in the safety position. So uh, I was extremely proud at 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 um at us this, uh, today. Zach and Chris Murray. Hey, Rodney. In, in the first half, some of those third and longs, they were able to convert. What was the issue there? Yeah, it was just, uh, you know, you'd like to see just a little tighter coverage. I mean, they made a good good catch on the outside. We said we wanted to uh, force the ball outside. Uh, they made a great uh, throw and catch. Uh, so you live with that. Uh, I think the next time they uh, caught us off guard, they quick snapped us. Uh, and, and, and was able to pick it up. But quickly, uh, we fixed that, and I think we did uh, very well moving forward on third downs. But that is something that, hey, we get them in third and 10, third and 11, we got to win those situations. Uh, but we did uh, make an adjustment and, and quickly uh, nipped it in the butt. We have time for two more, so we'll go Chris and then Bo. It's difficult to hear. Sorry. But we'll go yes. to you. Hey, Ronnie, if you could put yourself um, on the other side, what would be the stress of going up against those two quarterback formations when, when Jalen Hurts is on the field? Yeah, I mean, you, you have no idea how they plan to attack, uh, you know, when they have Hurts behind center and you have Carson uh, on the outside. Uh, you just have to play disciplined ball and, and uh, just – do your job on that play. Uh, but we work a lot of those plays throughout the week. Uh, so it, it showed itself, presented itself today, and, and we went out and executed. Uh, and, and that created a spark for, for the offense. Hey, Travis. Uh, obviously, coming off the big game in Pittsburgh, um, maybe not as successful uh, statistically, but Carson was looking for you, still made a number of plays. To be able to do that in back-to-back -back weeks, what does that do for your confidence? Um, yeah, it, uh, it means a lot that Carson trusts me now and where we continue to build on it. But um, just wish I could have made more plays for the team, and we just need to uh, do more to get the win. Ed and then Dave. Hey, Travis, three touchdown catches in three games. Take us through this uh, this most recent one. It this might have been the more difficult of the three, possibly. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, Wentz made a, a, call, uh, a check at the line. It was a great check, and um, he, he placed the ball at the right spot, floated up, and let me get a chance to uh, go up and get it. Dave and then Zach. Travis, in these last three games, have you learned anything about Carson that you didn't know before? Uh, no, I, I, always, I always thought he was a great quarterback, and he's just proven it. Zach and then Bo. Hey Travis, it, it seemed in the in the second half there, and especially late, uh, Carson was just throwing it up to you, like the pass interference, the touchdown. Is that uh, is that something you guys have have communicated that if he just throws it up, you'll win those jump balls? I mean, that's the plan. I'm not going to say I'm not going to come down with it. So uh, yeah, I, I have confidence in him at all times, and uh, yeah, we just keep, we keep continuing to grow. Bo and then Daniel. Travis, uh, it looked like you almost had that Hail Mary at the end of the first half. What, take us through that play. Yeah, um, I thought I did. I had it uh, at first, came back down, and unfortunately I didn't make the play for my team. Go ahead, Daniel. Uh, hey, Travis, with uh, with Carson, uh, he threw it to John on the deep ball uh, on the first possession. Uh, John couldn't come, come up with it, but he went back to him a couple times, got him on the 50-yarder. Uh, what does that do for you guys as young receivers to know that you know, if you don't necessarily make that first play, that Carson will still come back to you. Oh, that's major. It's um, it's great that Carson has has that trust in us, and he keeps coming back. He has confidence, 
and that's what we need if we're going to continue to uh, keep growing and uh, get wins for this team. Go ahead, Bo. I know you're not always on the field for these plays, Travis, but when it's, uh, you know, when Jalen Hurts is in the game and you guys have both quarterbacks on the field, do you feel like that, you know, adds a level of stress to the defense? Oh, absolutely. Jalen was uh, <laughs> making people look silly out there today, and I, I love watching him play, and it gives a, a lot of juice to the team. We'll go to Ruben Frank. Hey, uh, Travis, Carson said he feels like you can still get a lot better um, despite what you've done these last few weeks. Um, how do you feel about that, and, and what do you think he can get better at? Uh, absolutely, I can get better. Um, I mean, I won't narrow it down to one aspect, but um, all parts of my game can improve. We'll go to Martin Frank. Hey, Travis. Um, you're, one of your, your college coach says you were a basketball player growing up. I was wondering, like, how much that helps you, like, you know, going up for those 50-50 balls, you know, like you've been doing these last few weeks. Yeah, absolutely. Um, like for the uh, Hail Mary, you know, just box someone out, go up and go get it. Um, baseball, too, you know, tracking the ball, center field, you know, all the sports helped me out to, uh, to get where I'm at today. And, and how good were you in basketball? <laughs> I think I was pretty good. 